Joining me now is Chloe Atkins, who covers reproductive rights and policy for NBC News. Chloe, thanks so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. So what are you watching for? What should we expect in this hearing tomorrow? Kristen, good to be with you. All eyes are on Texas, where a judge will hold a hearing on a preliminary injunction that seeks to take one of the two pills used in medication abortion off the market. Now, Kristen, it does remain unclear when this judge will rule. He could rule as soon as tomorrow. We could rule in the days or the weeks to come. It truly remains unknown at this moment. But if the judge does rule to take mifepristone off the market, what we would see is major national implications and those who are seeking abortion access even in blue states would be impacted by this um, this order from the judge and we would also likely see uh, physicians and doctors transition from this two pill regimen to a misoprostol only regimen mm -hmm. that is just as safe but is less effective Kristen yeah and I know there are some concerns about that because it is meant to be a two pill regimen <laughs> Chloe, put this into context. What are the broader implications here? Because we know that this is obviously a battle that is unfolding nationwide over not just the abortion pill, but access to abortion writ large. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I mean, we even saw last night where, um, you know, senators and even governors spoke out in letters um, putting pressure on Walgreens, CVS and Rite Aid to further define where they stood on their policies in dispensing abortion pills and how they planned to do so in the days to come. And that came after Walgreens announced that it wouldn't dispense medication abortion in multiple states around the country, including in states where abortion is both legal and illegal and they made that announcement after um several around 20 GOP AG sent letters to all of these pharmacies threatening legal action if they despite decided to dispense medication abortion in their states now it does remain unclear where these um, companies are within the certification process that is something that we are pushing um, day in and day out to understand better where they are in that process um, and we also are looking to hear from Rite Aid and CVS mm. on whether or not they will be dispensing medication abortion in those 20 states where AGs spoke out threatening legal action. Kristen. Let me just follow up very quickly. We have about 30 seconds left. How much confusion will there be if pharmacies take a different tack than whatever is ruled in this case? In my conversations, Kristen, with abortion rights groups and doctors, they told me that there's already a ton of confusion mm. and misinformation when it comes to abortion access in this country, and especially as it relates to medication abortion. And it, they said if these pharmacies take different stances in dispensing medication abortion around the country, it will only add fuel to that fire. So they are applauding these lawmakers, both governors and senators, um, yeah. for sending these letters and asking for clarifications in their policies. All right. Chloe Atkins, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.